Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. Another win for Jared Anderson using a body attack on Andre Rodenko, absolutely pummeling the Ukrainian over five rounds and getting him out of there. So we had a situation of 72 landed body punches in the course of not even five rounds of action. And it was a case with Jared Anderson showing us uh, a little bit of a few different things. So you had him in the first round or two, you know, showing a few angles, creating them, working the jab. And then from round two, basically just went to town on the body on the 39-year-old Andre Rodenko, who is well removed from his prime and actually has been susceptible to the body in recent years. What was it, three or four years ago? Dropped with a body shot by Agi Kabial. So this was ripe territory for basically the corpse of Andre Rodenko, the, the husk of a husk that is now Rodenko. So you had the commentators making a lot that if Anderson could sta stop Rodenko, it was a statement. I mean, come on. I mean, maybe Rodenko from about seven or eight years ago, but not this version of Rodenko. They've dug up Rodenko, who looked in the worst shape of his career. And of course, he was going to accept a beating. He's got durability at this point, and that's about it. And that durability gave out after five rounds. But Anderson had to work for it. He had to uh, break down Andre Rodenko, and he did. He was smart about it. He landed to the body. And then in that final round, which uh, was round five, he changed tack just a little bit. Instead of going for absolute power, he started to just use his speed and really just let his hands go. Wasn't, you know, ha having everything behind his shots, but the blur of punches had Rodenko covering up on the ropes. And after a period of time, I don't know, maybe it was 20 seconds, something like that, the referee was forced to jump in. Rodenko was uh, covered up, but wasn't throwing back. He gave the referee no choice. But don't tell me that we have to care about Rodenko being stopped at 39 years old, because we don't. Yeah, I mean, maybe if he was uh, seven or eight years ago, it would have meant something. At this point, it just means that he's absolutely washed. And they dug him up for this one to give Anderson some activity. Remembering coming off the Charles Martin fight, you know, he took a few shots in that one. A few people, you know, raising questions. Is he all that in a bag of chips, etc.? And um, Anderson came out here and did a number on Rodenko, which was a step down from the Martin fight. Let's not, you know, dress it up as something else that it isn't. This was effectively a stay busy and nothing more. Mark time. Uh, Anderson ahead of this fight said um, he wanted to be back in action, maintain activity, and primarily it was for the money, that he wants money, wants to fight regularly. Uh, in the show, before the fight, he quoted Anthony Joshua saying that, um, you know, Joshua's words about activity stuck with him and he wants to continue being active. And his career plan anyway is to sort of get out of the game by about 27 years old. So he's only got, what, three and a half, four years before that sort of time is up. So he's going to have to remain active, but we need to see something a bit more next time out. You know, beating up on the old man Rodenko is one thing, but uh, you need to at least go to that same level again against Charles Martin, that sort of level, or a little bit of an incremental step because we want to see Anderson go in the right direction. No one can tell me that this fight really did anything for Jared Anderson because no one was calling for it. No one wanted it. It was what it was in many respects. I know some people might sort of say, give the guy a break, but look, they didn't have to roll him out within two months. You know, because of the activity, you can kind of go, okay, we can give you a little bit of a break. But if it's the same caliber of opponent next time, given people now consider Anderson uh, a contender, people will be a bit angry. They'll say they're not confident in their man Anderson for whatever reason. So they need to actually give us something by the end of the year when he's expected to be out again, something that we can look forward to. As I was having a little discussion with someone on Twitter, someone said, what about Jermaine Franklin? I said, that would be perfect. You know, you've had Franklin in against the likes of Dillian White and Anthony Joshua in the past year. And, you know, he credited himself well. He wasn't expected to, to win those fights and he didn't. But he put on a good performance. He was game. He was willing. Some people thought that he beat Dillian White. And obviously against Joshua, he had his moments as well. You can start to create a comparison. What about trying to overpay to get an Otto Varlin, who's sort of sitting, waiting, and you know rotting on the vine? 
you know, these are beatable fighters. They're good heavyweights who are maybe sort of somewhere between top 15 and top 25. Anderson needs to start sort of taking some of these guys up out to help uh, his climb in the heavyweight division give us some markers and you know guys in some fights that we actually want to see and go there's a little bit of interest there Redenko yeah it was what it was but don't tell me it means anything because it doesn't uh, what we saw was him beating up someone with no offense um, and no defense just dur- he had durability sure 72 punches and less than five rounds sounds impressive but what was in front of him and that's the thing so it's time for top rank to start going okay if we've really got this uh, glide path of three to four years now they've got to start putting him into proper contender level fights eliminators and such get him into position but he needs those tougher seasoning fights now no more redenkos or at least not very often yet yeah, once in a while if you're fighting four or five times a year you can go okay whatever but next fight out let's have something we want drop a comment loud and often hit like hit subscribe Follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.